for the top, got the game and the lock Every time that I drop, know I gotta go bang I'ma keep it hot, know that I can never stop Keeping everything I got, I'ma make it go bang Hey guys, and welcome back to the Six Round MMA Show with Jesse and Andrew Backus. Hey guys, how you doing? Today, the biggest thing we wanted to talk about is what's next for the UFC lightweight division. I think that's what everybody keeps talking about. And in my opinion, that's like the buzz of the organization right now is the UFC lightweight division. Well, when you look at any division, anything yeah. in the UFC right now, any any casual fan, that's what they're tuning in for. Yeah. They're looking to see who, who has the best fights, mm -hmm. what's the fastest division, you know, and the biggest names. And I think the lightweight division is there for sure. Yeah. Sure. And now that Khabib's finally retired, and P.S., I really think Dana White should leave him the fuck alone. Well, I mean, has he retired? Well, he's retired, he retired, and in my opinion, he's such a religious man, right? And he's so faithful to his father. He made a promise to his mother. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think that was something that he said under emotion. Like, a lot of people say, like, I'm retired under emotion. Yeah. He made a promise to his mother. I don't yeah. think he was lying about that on the microphone. And then you see Dana White, and he's constantly, like, lack of a better word, harassing Khabib Nurmagomedov to like mm -hmm. get back into another fight of course with yours truly Conor McGregor even though in my opinion that fight conversation should be void now well Dan is looking at it as a business perspective right that would be massive that'd be a huge fight you got arguably one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world and one of the most popular fighters in Conor McGregor and, and them coming back for number two I think that's huge I think Dana has to go after that um, Do you think he still has to go after it though? Because I believe that Poirier very much humanized Conor McGregor. Like before, Nate Diaz beat Conor McGregor, and it was like, oh my god, like that's the craziest thing ever. But no one's really knocked him out except for Joseph Duffy, yeah. a long time ago in the beginning of Conor McGregor's yeah. career. But now he got exposed. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. he got he got knocked out. It wasn't one of those things where oh maybe the ref shouldn't stop it. He got knocked out. He got finished. I think his yeah. stock for a real MMA fan went completely down. Yeah. I think from a from a quality perspective and from a hardcore fan, we've definitely we're going away from Connor. We're going away from you know the fights so. that we've seen in the past. Uh, but as a casual fan, I think anyone still sees the name and they still see uh, the UFC attached to that name, and that's why Dana wants that fight. Personally, I don't care about that fight. I'd love to see Khabib come back, regardless. I don't yeah. care who he fights. We're watching that fight, regardless, yeah. right? Um, but to I don't see, want to see him come back. To see McGregor come back, and or see, to see Khabib come back and yeah. face McGregor, I don't think it's something we need as a as a true MMA fan. Mm -hmm. We need to see again. I yep. mean, we saw everything in the first in the first match, and I think that's how it's probably going to play out in number two. Yeah, yeah honestly, it's never going to happen. I mean, to be honest, I think I'm one of Khabib's biggest fans, mm -hmm. and I don't want to see him come back. And the reason is is because never in the history of martial arts does any fighter ever have a perfect story. Yeah. He is the only fighter, if he stays true to his retirement, that has the perfect story. Anderson Silva became the best pound for pound fighter on the planet. Yep. He didn't know when to retire. He, he hasn't won in like seven fights. He fought Derek Brunson and won on paper, but to any fan that watched that fight, I completely thought he lost that fight. Yep. Same with guys like GSP. GSP did it right. Mm -hmm. Right, and he came back, but that even that was scary, and he yeah. won, and then he ran away, not because yeah. he was scared, because now it's the time to retire. He's getting older, and uh, I'm glad he was out of the picture. But of course, Conor McGregor loses the fight to Dustin Poirier, and now they're talking about a trilogy fight, which yeah. makes no sense to me. Yeah, or, or the second you mean, or, or Dustin Poirier, you mean? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That fight to me. I think, you know, one and one, they both have one yep. win uh, or, or one notch in the column, yep. uh, in the win column. I think I'm interested in that fight to see again, yep. but not next. Definitely yep. not next. Connor has to go and prove that he is the same fighter. He's, he's hungry and he wants to do the same things in the cage. And we haven't seen him active. What, how many fights did he have last year? One. One. Right? And it was against a very, very old way past his prime Donald Strong, yeah. even though I'm a huge Cowboy fan. Yeah, so I, I definitely don't want to see that fight again right now, but in the yeah. future, 100%. I I'll, need to see that again. I'll be honest with you, the scheduling of that fight makes me lose complete respect for Dustin Poirier yeah. Yeah. and Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, I've never really had too much respect for him, but he kinda, he's kind of won me over in like the last year and a half, the mm -hmm. way he's changed his mentality. Mm -hmm. But this fight is stupid for another reason. The pre-fight conference... Mm -hmm. To that UFC event, Michael Chandler, Dan Hooker, Dustin Poirier, and Conor McGregor were all asked if this 
can be an unconfirmed off paper lightweight tournament. Yeah. They all said yes. Yeah. As soon as Dustin Poirier wins, as soon as Connor loses, all of a sudden the rules don't matter because Dustin saw how much money he made. Mm -hmm. And Connor, of course, wants to just always fight for a title, right? It's or the else it's there's the no money. point. Yeah, it's the money fight. But he that's wants the money fight. But it's it's stupid because so that's completely disrespecting, of course, Michael Chandler's work. Michael yeah. Chandler came in from, my opinion, one of the best organizations, Bellator, because I think they're doing it right. They have rankings that actually make sense, where in the UFC, rankings don't mean anything. Because as long as someone makes enough noise, like some controversy like Conor has, even yeah. though he's a great fighter, you're guaranteed a slot in the main event. Yeah. Which is not fair, because you guys just broke your promises. Dustin Poirier doesn't want to fight the next in line. He wants to fight the biggest paycheck. And the person whose fault this is is Dana White because he's allowing that to happen. Well, it's all about money again, yeah. right? Right. We we go from Khabib and McGregor about money, and then we come back and we see Poirier and McGregor once again about money. Um, I think it's fights that the fans definitely want to see yeah. outside of the 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 average hardcore MMA yep. fan. Um, and Connor, I think he's if it's not for a. Um, a main event, yep. we're not going to see him. No. I don't think. So what do you want to see next? What do you want to see next? Okay, so let's do what do you want to see next. Yeah. Not Dan Hooker. Love the guy, but yep. he's he's emotional right now. Yep. Um, let's talk about Mike Chandler, Yep. Dustin Poirier, and Conor McGregor real quick. What do you want to see next for Michael Chandler? Who do you want to see next for Michael Chandler? The the lightweight tournament's out the door. It's, it's bullshit. It's not happening, but yeah. your perfect idea of a matchup, who's it going to be? As far as picks, mm -hmm. who's who 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 should he fight next? I think he's got to be Justin Gaethje. Mm -hmm. I think it's a it's definitely a strange matchup, and it doesn't look nice on paper. But as far as someone who's just lost a fight in Justin Gaethje, he mm -hmm. just lost the title fight. Um, you know, I guess he would be the number one contender mm -hmm. um, outside of Dustin Poirier. It's kind of strange right now. Who's the number one contender? But Michael Chandler knocks out Dan Hooker in that first round. You love that. Yep. You love that. He's one of my favorite and, fighters. And we have to see him tested for sure. Yep. And I think the toughest guy to do that right now is probably Justin Gaethje. I don't want to put Charles Oliveira in there just yet because I'd like to see what he mm -hmm. does against, you know, maybe maybe they pair him up with McGregor. I don't know. That, that yeah. would kind of be my pick. Yeah. Yeah. Pair Oliveira with McGregor. Because Oliveira doesn't want the Chandler fight. I but think, that's... I but, think he even said that. But Dana White, I can almost guarantee, Dana White would pay top notch mm -hmm. to let Conor McGregor not fight Charles Oliveira. It's the worst stylistic matchup for him. Oh, yeah. It would, yeah. It would be... It would be very, very one-sided. Like, yep. Nate Diaz's jiu-jitsu is fantastic. But he likes to play too much. Mm -hmm. Charles Oliveira Rivera doesn't play. Not mm -hmm. only can he strike, he's very strong. He's going to take you down. But he's gonna... Tony Ferguson was the most feared man in the lightweight division, mm -hmm. and he couldn't move. Mm -hmm. He could not move. Charles Oliveira would finish Conor McGregor within the first round, and, and I honestly believe easily. So you know what? Tony Ferguson coming off a loss uh, against Charles Oliveira. What if we give him... Michael Chandler. Tony Ferguson? Mm -hmm. It's not. It's a suicide. But like, as far as a fight that you'd want to see, where is Chandler going next? So that I want to see, that's fine. But for me, Tony Ferguson loses two fights in dominating fashion. Mm -hmm. Both of them back to back. You don't want to put him up against someone who's hopped up and high off his first win. Yeah. Ex-Bellator champion, a veteran of the game. I for real think it would be cool if Tony Ferguson was Tony Ferguson. Mm -hmm. But he's not emotionally there like he pretends to be. He's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think stylistically that would be bad for me in a perfect world. I think, well, in a perfect world, I would do Dustin Poirier versus Chandler because that's what they agreed to. Yeah. But, but if I'm good, Dustin doesn't want that though. Because Dustin's scared. Yeah. Dustin's scared, and it's an easy yeah. paycheck, win or lose <sighs> against Connor. You're rich. See, I don't know if he. I don't know if it's correct to say he's scared. I think that the way he looks at it probably is, or, or probably is, he's been in this division. He's been in this um, this organization for years, and he sees a guy that comes in hot off of one win, and he deserves the title shot. Or, sorry, we're not sure about what Khabib's doing yet. The title shot, um, and I think that's disrespectful to him. Yep. And and I think I see it a little bit kind of in the same way. But I would love to see that fight. Regardless. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's wrap it up. I think the next fight for sure, 
should be, in my opinion, Dustin Poirier, maybe even against Justin Gaethje, number two. But I, honestly, Dustin Poirier versus Charlie Oliveira, that would be my pick for the next fight. It's not going to happen, but that's my pick. I'm leaning towards the Gaethje fight. Yep. I think Chandler needs uh, a tough opponent. Not saying Dan Hooker's not there, but he's mm -hmm. had a, quite a few losses in his past. You know, he's caught off a couple wins. Yep. But uh, Justin Gaethje gives him that fight. He's, you know, arguably one of the best leg kickers, cool. mixes it up. But we're not sure where it's going. But Justin Gaethje is my pick. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, why don't you guys comment below? Let us know who you think we should fight next. If you think the trilogy makes sense. And if it doesn't, let us know below. And uh, stay tuned for more. We really appreciate you guys. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bang, coming for the top. Got the game in the lock. Every time that I drop, no, I got to go bang. I'm going to keep it hot. Know that I can never stop. Keeping everything I got. I'm going to make it go bang. Better than the best. I'm going to tell it with my chest. I don't got no time to rest. Now they know what I'm saying. Everybody know I'm coming next. I'm going to leave it in a mess. If they want to test, I'm going to make it bang. Step into the mind of a young man with the plan.